What's up, YouTube? Just got home from work. Um, I was just shot out this morning, so I didn't take my camera to work because I stayed up really late last night to get that edit of us biking that park out for you guys because I didn't get home till late. So, uh, yeah, epic day at the job, and now I'm just here with my little daughter, the thrash. <laughs> That's what you're claiming. What do you got to claim to the boys? What do you claim to the boys? And I'm here with my hot wife. She just got a haircut. Yeah. Damn, show it off. I got a MILF haircut. Damn, that looks good. Six inches. I got six inches. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Marsh? Yo. What's up, bro? The family is going on an epic adventure to Walmart to go grocery shopping. I actually can't even believe how stoked I am to get ice cream. And I don't know. I'm feel, I'm in the mood to buy some snacks, so it's on. The snack game's on, boys. What is, what is your number one item that you're gonna get there? I mean, I'm I'm all about the ice cream too. <laughs> it's my favorite. Dude, it's 61 degrees in February right now. And it's gonna blizzard tomorrow. It's 61 degrees right now, and we're supposed to get starting at four o'clock in the morning, four to eight inches of snow. So, dude, look at that Barbie Jeep thing. It's starting at 6. That I looks know, pretty I saw sick. that on the way over here. I was going to grab it, but I know that Is it was. free? I don't know. It's been there all afternoon. You want that? If it's free. <laughs> there was another like little boy Jeep next to it, but that was gone quick. All right. I'll get the cart. You push, I buy. <laughs> Or do you want to do the other way today? No, I'll push. <laughs> That's what you're claiming? Yeah. Because Angel was claiming, I saw I'll the video. Angel was going, I saw the video, dude, about that, and I would easily push the car. I don't mind pushing. Do you like it in there? It's kind of like a race car. <laughs> Enter the money. This is pretty much a bank for me. My wife buys grapes. This time you're really and, sour. Uh, and she thinks that it's a certain price, but then you go to the counter and it's that much per pound. There's like five pounds per bag. So we end up spending like $25 a bag of grapes. So you're not getting grapes? Uh, I need some kind of fruit though. For what? Strawberries look so good right now. You don't like strawberries though? Because we could do strawberries on ice cream. Oh yeah, that's good. You know what I mean? Two fifty. For this whole thing? Yeah, it seems like a good deal. Yeah, they look good. We just have to wash them really good because Mexican strawberries dirty. <laughs> We're going down the ice cream aisle right now. What kind of ice cream are you gonna get today? Because I'm gonna get Turkey Hill. We gotta definitely get vanilla. Turkey Hill vanilla bean. Bam, baby. And yeah, what else are you claiming? Your purse is heavy in the car. What else are you claiming? I don't know. I don't really want anything crazy. Should we just get two vanillas and call it a day? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Two vanillas, boys. Because then we got tons of stuff at the house like caramel jimmies, and now we have strawberries. Strawberry. Yeah. What else are we getting in here? I think we could get... Uh, more chicken nuggets to have at the house. Right now we're going down the condiments aisle and my claim to fame is that condiments killed America because they're so cheap and they have no nutritional value and you can't get Kraft mayo, you have to get Hellman's. Where's the other? Where is it? To the left. Oh. And dude, condiments oh, turn humans into a jar oh, of mayonnaise. What do you think about Smallest that? Smallest jar possible. You don't think that uh, condiments killed America? <laughs> I don't know about that. We have the taco shell. I'm for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm talking alien. Me, he has a horse. Let's do 
need any more cereal. <laughs> yeah. It's these potatoes, right? Potato picker. Dude, are we putting them in a bag? I think she's pooping. She's pooping in Walmart. You know what they say that the best way to pick your potato is to juggle with them. Here, hold this. I'm gonna try it. See, so pick our potato. Oh wait, whichever one drops is the one you don't get. Oh my gosh. Well, pretty good. So that one dropped. That's the bad potato. <laughs> no, really. Which one do we want to get? I don't know. That one looks good. These two. It's kind of like my ball sack. <laughs> like, yeah. My balls are bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's pooping. Are you pooping? Are you pooping? <laughs> What's up, boys? I was just about to go outside and work on some stuff, and then I, uh, Remembered that Bob the dude uh, commented on my YouTube channel that he wanted to see or the channel that you guys are watching now So many fucking cars to the audio Wanted to see a tour of the outside of the compound. I plan on giving you guys like a full MTV crib style tour of the compound, but I'm gonna do uh, a little tour of the outside of the compound right now for Bob the dude. I just want to say thanks for watching man, and I really appreciate the support so I'm going to go ahead and give a tour of the outside of the property right now um, for the boys. So here we go. Uh, this is the driveway when you enter here. So you come in, I got all this space. I got a truck there, work truck now, and our cars. But this is going to be like a skate plaza type thing. Steps going up to the front porch. That's the exterior front porch, which is pretty sick. So we got this huge driveway space when it's cleared off. This is where we did the obstacle course the other day. Uh, I plan on putting quarter pipes and boxes and stuff all along here. I'm going to dig that out potentially and uh, put a quarter pipe thing in here so you can session this quarter pipe. Uh, this is the first quarter pipe that we got going so far in the compound. Three foot little nice guy, nub life. Uh, this is the garage right here. It's a two car little bungalow. It doesn't have doors or anything. It's just good for storage. I keep the El Camino in here. That's my baby. There's the hood of the first car I ever jumped. It's a straw blower for working, but that's going to go. That's out of here. And then this is pretty much the storage. I got some lumber in here for building, some tools. I got my gas cans and everything, an old nub sign, weed whacker, you know, shit like that. So this is just a garage pretty much, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice building. Um, then I got a lot of yard space here. This is the back of my house. Uh, a lot of yard space, that's a fucking lawn up there. Not really sure what we're gonna do with that. And then coming back, it's pretty much just open land. Um, it's just a big yard all the way back to the pond. So, I don't know, probably gonna do some shit here. Build some stuff, I'm not sure. Um, because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that roof right there, the top of that roof, the peak there, is potentially what I'm gonna do for the 3,000 subscriber fucking stunt. Do a header off there, which is a high fall where I dive head first and then turn at the last second into a makeshift uh, land ramp over there. So, coming down into the yard, I pretty much just got tons of open space to do whatever I want with. Right now we got three trailers here. One's holding scrap, one's holding the, nothing really, and the other one's holding my wood supply. So they're gonna go probably by the summertime and start working on stuff. This is the trash pile down here in the back, is the back of the yard that you guys have seen me burning. This is a little bit of trash I gotta get rid of. Some old drywall from stunts. That's the burn pile. I'm gonna fix her up when I'm done burning all the shit. And then I pretty much just got open space back here to do shit when I'm with. I'm hopefully gonna get a junk car for the property that I can do some like drifts and stuff like that. I used to have a junk car that we thrashed around here. It was pretty fun. So hoping to get back into that. Um, this is a creek that runs through here, through the backyard. It's a slow trickle right now though. Something must be holding it up. So I got a little stream going back here, which is cool. 
for uh, Naomi when she grows up and stuff. It's like a little nature preserve. I'm gonna clean it out a little, but I already cleaned it out a lot. And then come into the back backyard. We got a fucking pond back here um, that we can do stunts in into. It's just not that deep. Um, but it's a pretty nice sized pond. We've done a couple clips into here, jumped some bikes into here and shit like that. That's a, a buoy from our, when we were filming for A&E, a pilot for A&E that was out there. And uh, Matt Crown jumped in here and got all cut up in the winter time. Whoa. I'm not really sure what the fuck was going on with that. Um, then there's a little waterfall over here, which is pretty cool. Um, little waterfall type thing. It's pretty much all broken. It's been broken for a long time. But that's uh, that's pretty much what's going on in my house, in my outside. Uh, I haven't really been able to build as much as I'd like. Because uh, I've been working a lot and session in the BMX, but... The compound's gonna come along, and then you probably notice, like in the video, ne like next door to the compound, there's all these bricks, and like there's the shop and the house, stuff like that. That's where my dad works out of, that's where we work out of. So, in that barn over there on the left, you can see we keep some of our stump pads and stuff like that. But I'm eventually gonna try and transfer all of that over to, uh, over to my property so I have all the gear on one property. Right now, I'm just walking over to show you guys one more thing. Uh, this is where we uh, jump the bikes. Uh, we're probably going to put a kicker here sooner than later. And uh, this is the clearing for the jike, uh, bike jump. This is where it's pretty deep. Actually, we've jumped a car off a jump into this lake before off here too with Turner on the roof of it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the little tour of the compound. Um, feeling a little under the weather today so I can't really be doing anything crazy I've been going hard for the past like couple weeks trying to get crazy content going so it's just been a low-key day I went to work did some bricks and shit but uh yeah so I figured I'd show off the show you guys what's going on at the compound a little bit um, on a slow day and a couple of you were asking for it so there it is that's the compound and uh, the builds just gonna keep going so right now I'm gonna head inside and uh, have a bowl of fucking ice cream with Jimmy's, maybe some caramel. But uh, yeah, boys, compound life for the boys, and uh, yeah, can't wait to continue the build pretty much. And uh, check out this I carved nub into that with a chainsaw, it's pretty sick. You, you eating your hand? Hey, what's up, girl? Hi, chairman. <laughs> No, don't do that. That's not cool. What was that trick? That was the 180 head? The head 180? Whoa, the 180? The Schmunch baby? Don't get mad no, because you can't do a 360. You can only do a 180. <laughs> Schmunch matey? 360 Schmunch 80. 180, 360. Dad life, parent life is heavy, boys. Don't have kids unless you really want them. Ow! <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? A little Sneaky chubby. Time. That's a crazy name, chubby name. <laughs> the trip, the quad name. Say, I'm dun, a chubby dun, boy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm Naomi Thrash. <laughs> Thrash life. Thrash it up. Show me a thrash. <laughs> Say, look how good I stand. Look how good I slobber. Dude, that slobber, <laughs> slobber, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, I'm about to edit what I got for today and uh, go to bed early tonight because I'm going to get up and we're supposed to get this snowstorm tomorrow, so I'll be out bright and early getting footage for you guys of the storm, so hope everybody's living the dream. Uh, I support, I, dude, unique New York. I appreciate all the support 
And uh, yeah, hope you guys are living the dream. Ew! Trash life! <laughs> good night. Say it. That's good enough. Put your hands in front of the camera like, <laughs> like poof it. Poof. Poof it. Poof. Yeah! yeah.